Alright guys, I'm gonna give you some background on this video right here. Um, this is clearly uh, harassment by the um, powers that think they own East Palestine right now. Let me give you the backstory of this though before. And this is this is all backed up too with my uh, my uh, dash cam, because my, my dash cam records front and rear um, of my vehicle while I'm driving. So, as you guys all know, I went down to the EPA clown show, saying that you know everything's cl everything's clean, everything's fine. You know we're done. You know, it's, it, you know, there's rainbows coming out of the ground now. Um, I went down there for that, uh, press conference briefing, whatever the heck you want to call it. And I covered it. Uh, on my way out, I was one of the, I don't know if there was other, one of the f last few people to leave. You know, because I had to change my boots. Um, they said it was going to be muddy, so I didn't want to put, wear my regular boots, so I stuck my, um, crap kickers on, I won't swear, uh, and then, you know, wore them and then changed into my boots, because I didn't want to drag that crap into my car, because I don't know what's down there, um, so I was one of the last ones to leave, I pulled out, and who pulls out behind me? Mr. Security Guy, he follows me all the way to McKim's Winery, okay, I pulled McKim's Winery, um, I stopped, and I just shot a quick video, um, I'll be posting it, of just my take on, you know, what was said at that, uh, press conference, it, it, I was there 10 minutes, probably, so I got done with that, left, um, headed, started heading, you know, down towards town, and I look at my rear view mirror. What do we have again? Mr. Security Guard again. Okay, now I, I forgot to add this part. Now, while I was in McKim's parking lot, he pulled over in the laundromat parking lot and he, and he sat there uh, the whole time I was uh, doing my video. So, so he's behind me. You know, he, he, he's trying to keep his distance, but unfortunately, we get caught at a red light by TM. Uh, so he's right behind me. Well, I had to stop and get gas. So I stopped and, you know, pulled in to get gas. And sure enough, you know, you know who pulls in behind me? Mr. Security Guy. He, he sure seemed to think he, you know, needed gas the same time I did. Um, I call this pure intimidation. Uh, you don't scare me. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to prove. Um, I know as soon as they seen my name on that press when you did, when you had to sign off for your with your press credentials. I know this. I knew they seen my name, and I know the whole time standing there, you could have swore I was a convict. I had so many freaking people standing behind me. They thought I was going to maybe take off running through the derailment site or something. I don't know. Uh, they know my name. They know the car. Uh, and I'm sure it's put out, you know, watch and see where he goes because, you know, he likes exposing stuff we don't want exposed. But anyways, this is where this video picks up. Um, I get out of my car, get the ready to get gas. And, and, and as you can see, he, he pulls a little bit past the gas station and then he'll back up and he'll go, he'll pull into the gas station and, and he's... He needed gas the same time I did, so. Sit down in the laundromat. So, so all of a sudden, this dude needs gas the same time I do. He followed me out of the zone. Um, I pulled in the winery to make a video. He pulled in the laundromat and sat there, and then he waited till I left, and then he followed me down here, and I stopped to get gas, and all of a sudden he's got to get gas too. What do you think? You think it's a little, little bit of harassment there, maybe? I know, I know, it goes against Signal 88's, you know, rules. So.
I'm famous, buddy, huh? You got probably hear a ball about me, don't you, down there, don't you? I have no clue who you are to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah? I really don't. I'm... So you have it, buddy. So as you, can, as you can see, blatant harassment. This ain't the first time. Um, usually it's the flagger people or the black SUVs that follow me around. Um, they decided to try to t intimidate me with security, I guess, this time. Uh, it, it don't work. Um, first of all, buddy, you're way out of your jurisdiction. Um, you, you stay in your little zone, your, you know, Nazi camp zone. But... I. Uh, I wasn't going to post this, but this just totally pissed me off because this is pure intimidation. If I didn't need gas, um, like I was so low on gas, I would have drove around town just to see how long he, he would have followed me. Uh, just had some fun, but uh, I was on zero, zero miles, uh, so it was time to get gas. But anyways... I, I wasn't going to put this out here, but this totally pissed me off. This, they think they own this fucking town, and they, you don't own this town. You own your little Nazi concentration camp down there that you have blocked off, but you don't own shit in this town, so stay in your zone. 